Jane Drasco. I'm Jenna Fruiting. My name is Victoria Chu. My name is Emily Dre. My name is Quincy Johnston. I am a freshman and this is my first year in PDF. My name is Emma Wooten and I am a sophomore, second year in PDF. I'm Ariana Abraham. I'm a junior and it's my third year in PDF. So when I was a sophomore in high school, in 2014, I was um, diagnosed with mono and my body reacted weird, so I spent a month in the hospital with a thing called ADEM, which is swelling in the brain and spine, and I lost all feeling in my legs, arms, abdomen, and back. And, uh, I really built a relationship with those kids there. Um, it's just a center for kids who have medical needs that are so great that they can't live at home and they need to be um, under constant attention and um, medical care. Um, I had low platelets. Typically, people are supposed to be around 100,000 to 400,000 platelets in your whole entire body. I had about 10,000. I have a younger sister. She's three years younger than me. And when she was in fourth grade, I was in seventh grade. Um, so it was a random morning, normal weekend morning. We were in my parents' room watching TV. And I left to go get something. And I came back, and my mom was holding her. She was crying. She basically was having stroke symptoms. Along the way, I just kept getting more diagnoses, and I have autoimmune disorder. Um, so basically, my antibodies are killing things in my body that I should have. So in my community, and I've known her since I was really young, there's this girl, her name's Alicia. And Alicia was diagnosed with failing liver when she was about 13 years old. Um, and I just, I really grew up with him. Um, and when he was nine months old, he was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Um, and she had a lot of tests done on her. She had CAT scans and MRIs. And they found out that she had AVM, like arteriovenous malformation. So basically a bunch of her brain, blood vessels in her brain were tangled. And it's been really hard. Her family was like certain that she wasn't gonna make it. And she needed a liver transplant. She developed hepatitis. So she lost most of like her functioning, especially with the right side of her body. Um, so she had to get brain surgery. And she went through lots of like physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy. She had to relearn how to walk, um, feed herself, like basic functions that we take for granted. All these crazy surgeries, like the latest one he had for the um, for the most recent like discovery of it was really, really experimental and the doctors that performed the surgery had performed it before, but it saved his life. And then I had to reteach myself how to walk and move my arms again and write my name. So um, Children's Hospital holds a very special place in my heart, especially all the doctors, the rehabilitation um, services that I received, like dog therapy and art therapy. And those kids really like stole my heart. There's a lot of them that I still see um, when I go home and it just breaks my heart that they have these conditions that they're pretty much born into. So um, getting involved with something that helps children like PDM was very important to me when I came to college. I wanted to be involved with PDM because Children's Hospital, like, I'm from Pittsburgh. So I've known so many people who've been in Children's and I wanted to help give back to them. And then Alicia, they've done so much work for her over the years and I wanted to give back. I think I'm most excited for the day of, just because I think that that's kind of the culmination of everything that's been going on the whole year. And I think it's really special just to see so many different people from so many different walks of life and backgrounds of organizations coming together all at the same time for the same thing. And I got to meet the Miracle Kids, and just like the kids from home, they kind of stole my heart. Lily and Jimmy are like two of my favorite little kids ever, and I look forward to seeing them at all of our events. And I just want to do anything I can to like give back to Children's Hospitals because like we owe them so much. My family owes them so much. Um, so it's really heartwarming to see like how happy we can make them. Yeah. Because of Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh, I'm lucky enough that I get to dance for PDM and I get to make a stand for those who still can. And because of the care I receive from them, I'm able to do what I'm doing right now. My why is definitely Alicia. It's it's crazy, and Children's Children's Hospitals are they do wonderful things and he probably wouldn't be here. <laughs>